Hey Fiona, your New Year's gift arrived. Oh, Sue, hello. It arrived today, didn't it? I hope you all enjoy the chocolates. Happy New Year, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I appreciate it. And I'll gladly eat them, but why did you only send one box? What? You only sent one, right? You know, me, my mom, and my husband all live here, right? Isn't it rude to not send at least two or three boxes? Uh, I'm sorry. I thought it would be enough for all of you. You really lack common sense, don't you? I don't mind if it's late, so I'm waiting for a couple more, okay? Oh, and send some beer as well. We just bought some nice meat, and I want a drink while eating it. I understand. I'll send it all soon. You owe us that much since we're looking after mom. Although I think you're kind of taking that for granted. You could show some more gratitude, you know? You don't want me to send her to live with you and your husband, do you? So you should be a little more thankful to us, don't you think? Yes, I'm sorry I didn't send enough for you all. If you understand, it's fine. Just show a little more gratitude to us. We moved all the way to the small town to look after her, after all. We really wanted to keep living in our apartment, you know? Oh, really? I heard moving in with her was your idea. That's just my mom's pride. She knew you guys would never move in to help her out, even if she asked. Don't you think that's why she never told you what she really felt? Didn't I tell you she often called me to say she's lonely? Oh yeah, that might be true. Yeah, mom's getting older too. She must have been worried about living alone. Her legs are getting weaker too. If there's anything we can do to help, please let us know. If there's any way we can help her, we would be more than happy to. Oh. Well, in that case, we were actually thinking about getting her a new bed. Could you help out with that a little? Yeah, of course. I want to buy a really nice electric bed. It costs about $1,000. So we should split it and pay $500 each. Okay, got it. I'll talk to my husband. Thank you. $1,000 was a little expensive, so I wasn't sure if we could afford it. No, don't worry. Let us do that much, at least. Well then, I'll send you my bank info soon. Can you send uh, the money before the next week? Okay, got it. And if anything else comes up, I'll contact you. So I'll be counting on you then too. <laughs> A few months later. Fiona, hello. I'm so sorry to bother you at work. Oh, it's been a while. Is something wrong? There's actually something I want your advice on. I'd really appreciate it if you could spare some time soon. I have some time now. Really? Aren't you at work? Yeah, but it's fine. Don't worry. I'm working from home today, so I can take a break whenever I want. Oh, would you rather talk on the phone? Do you mind if we keep talking through text? Someone might hear us if we talk on the phone. Huh? Someone might hear you? Where are you now? I'm at home. What I wanted to talk to you about was my daughter. Oh, I see. That's why you can't talk on the phone. Yes. I feel really bad to bother you about this, but I really can't take this anymore. What can't you take? Living with my daughter and her husband. I've been pretending it's all fine until now, but I'm at my limit. The truth is, I'm thinking about leaving this house. What on earth happened? It's only been half a year since I started living with them, but they took over my bank account as soon as they moved in. The account my pension goes into, I mean. Huh? I had some savings in there, too. It seems like they've taken it all. Is that true? The truth is, a few months ago, Sue talked to me about living with you. She said you wanted them to live with you. 
I never said that. I was happy living alone, and I was thinking of moving into an elderly home soon. But then my daughter said she really wants to move in and help me out. I tried to tell her it's fine, but she kept saying she's worried about me living alone. She twisted my arm into letting her and her husband stay here. Oh, I see. That's how it is. And her husband Ben has quit two jobs in the last six months. I heard she's never held down a job for very long, but I think they were having money troubles, so they moved in with me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea this was going on. Well, I never told you or your husband about any of this. Of course you wouldn't know. And it's not like we live near each other. And besides, it's a little embarrassing for me to have a problem like this. I thought I should do something about this myself. And actually, we've sent money to her quite a few times already too. She always had some reason why she needed the money for your sake. Huh? Like to buy an electric bed for you, or to take you on holiday. I never got any electric bed, and she's never taking me anywhere either. They've been telling me to spend as little as possible too. So I've barely spent any money at all these days. Really? But they told me they took you to a spa hotel. Well, the two of them went somewhere recently. So I guess everything she said was a lie. I'm so sorry for all the trouble my daughter's caused you. I never would have thought she was going as far as taking money from you two. By the way, didn't you just say you want to leave that house? If you want to, how about staying at our house for a while? Huh? Is that really okay? I was actually planning on moving. I'd be grateful if you could just act as a guarantor for me to move into an elderly home. But isn't the procedure to enter an elderly care home going to take some time? And you haven't even found a care home yet, right? Yeah, that's true, but I don't want you to have to stay there until all of that's done. After hearing all of this, I can't let it go on any longer. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough. No, please. Let me do this much for you at least. I'll fill my husband in as soon as he gets home. About that, if you tell my son, he's definitely going to want to call his sister. But I would really like to leave this house first, so could you please tell him not to do anything? I thought about contacting him, but I know he can be a little hot-headed. Which is why I decided to contact you first. That's true. Knowing him, he'll want to give her a piece of his mind as soon as he hears about what's going on. I understand. Leave him to me. I'll make arrangements for you to leave that house as soon as possible. A few days later. Fiona, you've really done it now. Did you help mom leave this house? I know how you've been stealing your mom's money. Of course I'm going to help her escape. Well, not like I care. It's not like she has any more money anyway. It was pretty tough for the three of us to live off her pension too. Meh, it might be a pain to do the housework ourselves now. But whatever. Don't you feel the least bit guilty? You stole your own mother's savings and pension? We did her a favor by living with her. Of course we're gonna take over and handle her money for her too. Isn't she the one who did you two a favor? By letting you live with her? If anything, you should have been paying her rent. But you used her money for bills, groceries, and everything else, didn't you? Hey! You should thank us for keeping a company to an old crone like her. How could you say such a thing? She's your own mother, isn't she? I really can't believe it. Also, all the money we sent? You used it for yourselves, didn't you? I heard you never bought a bed or anything. It's fine, isn't it? Even if you ask for it back now, you're not getting a penny from us. I never asked for it back. In exchange for that, I'd like to ask you to stay away from our family from now on. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? 
Did you think I was gonna go try and get mom back? I don't know about that, but anyway, whatever trouble the two of you get yourselves into, we're not gonna save you. Oh, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about giving that old chrome back. When we run out of money, we're planning on selling this house anyway. On the other hand, we're pretty grateful you've taken her off our hands. Is that so? In that case, I have nothing left to say to you. I guess we're done here then. Well, I guess we'll just go on as we were. Tell my mom and brother not to come back to this house. <laughs> Don't think of us as family anymore. A few weeks later. Fiona! What's the meaning of this? Sue, what's up? Didn't you say not to contact you anymore? I never said anything like that. Why are construction workers coming to the house? They said they're knocking it down. Oh, that's what this is about. So it's going as scheduled. What's the problem? What? The house is being demolished? While we're living here? Yes, so please leave as soon as you can because right now you're trespassing. What? That house belongs to your mother. It's completely up to her what to do with her property. Right now, you're basically just squatting there. B but I'm the landlord of this house. My mom's name isn't on the residence certificate anymore, right? Um, the residence certificate has nothing to do with the ownership of the house, you know? <laughs> How would I know that? Yeah, I thought so. I heard that even after you took over her bank account, you didn't do anything with the property deed. So I thought that might have been the case. We should really be thanking you guys for being so oblivious. Huh? So what's gonna happen to us now? Good question. I think it's just your mom's old room being destroyed today. So you should be able to sleep in your room tonight. You'd probably be better off leaving as soon as possible though since the room the two of you are using is getting destroyed soon, too. <laughs> That's not what I was asking. I'm asking where we're supposed to live now. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Find somewhere yourselves. Huh? You're the ones who kicked us out of here. So do something. Well, even if you say that, I'm pretty sure you said we're not family anymore. Aren't you guys the ones in the wrong? Just staying in a house which doesn't belong to you? As long as you leave our house, we don't really care what you do after that. You're the worst. How could you be so cruel? From a long time ago, you guys have been the cruel ones. Stealing your own mother's money and going as far as trying to steal her house too? I don't know how you could do such a thing. Mom's the one in the wrong. Huh? After my husband quit his job, we were struggling for money. But she never sent us any money. Didn't she actually used to send you money? But you never paid anything back. So she eventually stopped, right? That's what I heard. Well, that's not our fault. My husband's had had bad luck with jobs. All his companies have been awful and underpaying him. And every time he'd leave his job, of course we'd be struggling. So, shouldn't you have started working too? Why should you just keep getting money without lifting a finger yourself? It's not like your mom is an endless pit of money or something. I have every intention of earning money from now on. I was planning on investing the money from selling the house. But now, you've gone and demolished it. Invest. Do you even know anything about investing? I was gonna study. Oh, I see. Well, for now, go get a job. And start earning enough money for the two of you to support yourselves, at the very least. And then, after you've saved enough money, you can try your hand at investing. We were gonna earn enough to support ourselves by investing the money from the house. So give it back. Even if I cut ties with you, can't you at least give me this old house? What kind of logic is that? 
There's really no point even trying to talk to you, is there? I'm very sorry, but I can't help you. If you don't want to end up on the streets, hurry up and find somewhere to rent. Since the house will be rubble by the end of the week, do you understand? Ugh, I can't get in touch with mom or brother either. I want to apologize, so can you just talk to them for me? I don't think that will be possible. Who made you their representative anyway? Let me talk to my own family. Didn't you say not to think of you as family anymore? And besides, you should be grateful I'm even acting as a representative at all. Oh, and by the way, your mom has a new bank account and her pension is going there now. So no more money's going into the account you stole from her. Huh? Wait a minute. So what are we supposed to live on now? We've already used all the savings. Don't do this. That pension was never for you in the first place. What made you think you could just live off of it? You should just be grateful nobody's going after what you've stolen up until now. I'm sorry. It's all my fault, I know. I want to apologize to mom. Help me. Fiona, please. I already told you. That won't be possible. Oh, but your mom and brother did ask me to pass along a message for you. They said they never want to see you again. Since you said they aren't family anymore. That's all. It's what you wanted, right? After that, I gave them a week to leave the house. It was all my husband's idea. He said they would never change or regret their actions unless they were forced to. So he had a friend of his pose as a demolition company and pretend to knock down the house. To be honest, I really couldn't forgive them for using all of my mother-in-law's savings and pension money. But she laughed when I said that and called it a small price to pay. She actually kept all her inheritance money from her own father-in-law in a separate bank account, and they never got their hands on that one. They took the bank card, but they obviously couldn't get to the money with just that, since they don't know the PIN number or anything. I wonder how many times they tried to guess it. But still, we were all pretty relieved to find they left that card behind when they ran away from the house. We got a lot of calls from them after that, but of course, we just ignore them every time. But it's been a while since then, and the phone calls eventually stopped. I tried getting in touch with Sue, but there was no response. I just got a message saying the phone is not in service any longer. I bet she couldn't pay the phone bill either. But whatever happened to her or her husband has nothing to do with us anymore. Even if she was drowning in front of us, I don't think I'd help her. After my mother-in-law moved in with us, we started looking for an elderly care home for her. And on top of that, we've been really busy with selling her old house. Living together sounded a little daunting at first, but it was only for a fixed time period from the start. And my mother-in-law was so nice. It was actually really fun living with her. She'll be moving to the care home from next month. So I want us to make a lot of memories together while she's still here. And I know we'll stay in touch and keep having a good relationship in the future too. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so we know to do better for next time. If you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing. And if you really enjoyed yourself, maybe consider hitting that bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Thank you again. See you in the next one.